everybody surprise 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 <laughs> i'm on here on a friday you know that's crazy right normally it's monday but i thought i'd just come through i had a few minutes in between sessions and and all the stuff that i'm doing just to come through and just say hey to everybody and um get an opportunity to answer some questions and pick around some guitars and all that good stuff so i hope everybody's having an amazing friday and that you hopefully you can hear me well um but yeah this is what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna spend um maybe about 45 minutes and um and see and see if i can answer some questions happy friday back to you brian um and see we got six folks on here i appreciate you coming in on your your day off or your your free time what i was doing i was playing um to a backing track um like a congregational um type of backing track um and i was playing some pentatonic scales and real simple stuff that you can play over over the um the chords that was being played, it was just pretty much straight. It's in the key of C. Yeah, so I'm just messing around with that stuff. I'm gonna play that track again, and I'll play over it a little bit. Let you guys check it out, check it out. Yeah. Simple pentatonic, minor pentatonic scale. Friday, Donald. 
So if you guys have some questions or, you know, I posted a couple of videos here recently. I think I sent one out Thursday. Um, you know, hey, hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, if you have some questions about what I posted, I'm here for it. Uh, something that you want me to, to kind of go over, I'm here for it. Now is the time. <laughs> closely related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Brian's question is, is it important to learn different modes like mix? Absolutely. It's, it will help you when picking out lines to play over, um, over chords like that, that, um, that four. Instead of just going. Which is nothing wrong with that. But if you want to mix it up a little bit. And so it is important. And I'm glad that you're working on that stuff, Brian. Real happy that you're working on that. But yeah. stuff like that will open up um, your ears and and will stop you from pretty much being bored by playing the same thing oh you're welcome you are you are more than welcome you're welcome and if anyone else have a question <laughs> You don't have to stay in it. You know, I think um, I spoke with you before about um, being able to know what your relatives are. What's who your relatives are, I say, <laughs> on the guitar. When you know who your relatives are, you, it opens up a whole, 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 whole lot more to you. So if you know that um, that's in C. <laughs> And who's related? Hmm. My D sharp or E flat is related. So that being really knowing who your family in the in the South they say kin folks. Knowing who your kin folks are <laughs> on the guitar will help you out quite a bit. So if I know who my kin folks are, are <laughs> my cousins and uncles and nephews on my fretboard. So I know that 
<laughs> that my E flat or D sharp um, is related. <laughs> yeah, if uh, <laughs> if you, if I know who my cousins are, like my cousin is E flat, his name is E flat, then I can go to E flat's house and hang out a little bit. <laughs> That's my my cousin, my cousin E flat. So I can play my cousin playing with my cousin E flat when I'm at um when I'm at my aunt C's house. So I'm at my aunt C's house, and I said, okay, let's see if my cousin E flat is is doing this. <laughs> Hey, Sonya, how you doing? Okay, Sonya has a question. It says, hey, Kevin, good to see you. Suggested how you look the way, a long way to add once you understand the foundation, i.e. number system. Are you welcome? Um, Okay, so you asked it, how did it add to the song? Um, you know, like, let's go back to it. Let's go back to the track. Because what I'm doing is I'm listening, Sonya, to the chords and how the chords are flowing and how they are moving from one to the next. So as we were just speaking about our kinfolks, so sometimes we'll go from uh, Aunt C's house, okay? And so I know um, my cousin uh, E flat is is hanging out with us, but then we decide we want to go over to um, to my uncle F, which is the number four. Uncle F, go see Uncle F. So we all load up in the car and go to Uncle F's house. But and I know then Uncle F is, is is has has relationship, okay. So we get Uncle F's house, right, right. So I know the relationship of Uncle F. Right. So I can I can go to relatives. From Uncle F's house, we can all call up um, uh, 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 B. Oh no, B flat. We can call up B flat and and mess and have B flat come over and hang out. <laughs> I'm just having fun, y'all. Uh, but yeah, so um, with knowing the number system, by knowing the number system, Sonya, that means that I know in key of C. One is the C, two is the D, three is the E, four is the F, five is the G, six is the A, and seven is the um, B. Okay, so knowing that, and I know that the song is moving in those directions, let's listen. I won't even play, but I want you to listen to how... That song is moving, the chords are moving. C, F, 4, G, 5, A, G, C, B, G, A, G, A, D, G. And those are all, those are the notes, but also the numbers that are associated with those notes. So, absolutely. Um... We have another question. Ted, idea for moving from one chord to the next. Okay. <clears throat> when I'm moving from one chord to the next, depending on the tempo of the song and what's happening or how the song is moving, if I'm playing, um, I like to use my diminish to go to the two. Right? Or I can go from one to my three, and then go to the four, to my four, 
or if I'm going <laughs> if I'm going to the six, I like to use diminish as well. Mm -hmm. So the six of somebody answered me this question real quick. Yes, hey Todd, what's happening? Um, somebody asked me this question. What is the six of C? What's the six of C? Real quick. Somebody type it in. What is the six of C? What's the six of C? Come on. Tell me what the six of C is. <clears throat> I know you're out there, and I know that Sonya's going to probably answer first. But what is the six of C? They are kin folks. Come on, people now. Smile on your children. A minor. There it is. A minor. So I know that I'm going to the A minor. I told you Sonya was going to answer first. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. So, so I will play a diminished going into that um yeah thank you greetings to you there we go we're popping up in there real quick see everybody's answering now there you go brian just answered thank you um what i do is i'll play a diminish going to the, the a minor a minor nine and that nine is the b a minor seven, and then add that, that B up top. A minor nine, so I'll play. Or you can play off of the um, five, right? That's the five, which is G, right? And if you add that G sharp or A flat. six so there are different things that i like to do when moving from one chord to the next but my biggest thing is doing it and it, any of my students will tell you or my boot campers will tell you my biggest thing is doing it with clarity and doing it smoothly ah uh, nothing hurts me worse than when i hear someone move and they kind of stumble over it even if you can't get it right away, work on it until you can. And when you when you do get it under your fingers, then go ahead and play it. Go to the A minor. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um. Any other questions about uh, anything? The big thing about playing gospel guitar is, I'm telling you, if you learn the pentatonic scale, a major or minor, you got half of that ball game licked, I promise you, when it comes to playing over stuff. And I'll go back to the track, and I'm just going to play pentatonic scales, but what I'm going to do um is there an augmented pattern yeah yeah there is and i'll i'll touch on that for a second but like on here on this track if you just pick out different notes and when you're playing that pentatonic scale instead of just going if you go change it up you don't have to go you can go you can even go on like backwards see how that works let me let me do this so you guys can get a better look at this so if i went Had it work? That's 
Then that bend. Then Just different ways of approaching that pentatonic scale without just going. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you so much. I'm glad, glad that you're gaining information from this stuff. But that's what we're here for, you know, so we can share some really, really good information that you'll be able to take this stuff. And guys, listen. Please do not be afraid to tag me in this. Um, when you get something or you hear me play something that you're able to use, because I really want to hear how you guys are using this stuff. It re it's important to me. It really it helps me out. And then it, when you ask questions, um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll get all the questions that you guys a ask and actually we'll do a clip um, talking about the different things. My bend me work okay. Say, you know what? Um, I actually did a clip on bends, on how to bend, and it's on um, it's on the YouTube. It's on my channel, on different ways to bend. But yeah, bending is you know, <laughs> and it's funny because I talked to um, my student uh, about bending, and how when you bend you don't want to bend at a tune and when you bend your strings you can actually use your other fingers for support see how i have these fingers supporting to help push don't if you try to bend it that's that's harder but if you take your pinky because you you have these yeah yeah Make sure it's in tune. It's really important because of it. Ooh, that's horrible. Ooh, that's horrible. But yeah, so, you know, people, they say, okay, I'm stuck on the pentatonic scale. I'm stuck on this, this shape. I'm just, I, I I'm trying to get out of the shape. But until you get out of the shape, or if you have to stay in the shape, you know, use the shape. You know, I'm working on my shape all the time. But, <laughs> but that's another subject, right? See how that work? Okay, let's play it up against the track and see how that works. I see you on my Instagram. Thank you for hanging out with me. Good to see you. How to start quartet guitar? Good question, Harold. How you doing, man? Um, how do you always start quartet guitar? 
there is a lot of, and I talk about this in boot camp. If you really want to start playing quartet guitar, what you want to do is you want to go back down to, to the foundation, to those guys who um, did this years ago. Find videos and clips and, and find out exactly how they approach and who they listen to. And that stuff will help you. But you can listen to a lot of um, a lot of the groups like the Swanee Quintet, um, the Mighty Clouds of Joy, and um, ooh, Sl Slim and Supreme Angels, the Canton Spirituals. Um, all of those guys have um, that traditional foundation. And once you get that foundation down, then you can move forward. <clears throat> with learning and I know a lot of people are hitting me up. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's been overwhelming how many people have um, contacted us about teaching, um, teaching um, uh, quartet guitar and that's, that's what I'm doing. You know, we're doing the core stuff and, and we're actually doing, um, um, we're doing a course, we're doing the boot camp, and all of that stuff is really I'm helping a lot of people because I would get a lot of jazz students and rock guitar players and different style guitar players coming in because they want to grab that style because quartet guitar transcend, transcends from quartet to everything. You play quartet, you're able to play everything. I'm here to tell you. So I tell you, go back and, you know, hit me up because my, my course information will um, help you as well. Um, grasping that concept and for those who are interested um, my email address is here we go let me see if I can do this this work there we go so just sign up once the course is launched and everything happens, you guys will be able to have an opportunity to go in at your leisure without having to, to do the um, private lessons and wait on a schedule and, and all of that good stuff. Um, you'll be able to click that button and boom, you'll be able to have that information. All right, um, here you go. Can you talk a little bit about how approach your picking and do you have any what do i prefer anything um mainly i don't do a lot of hybrid picking but my strokes are pretty basic and simple it's playing up it's up and down up and down and again on my course i have um exercises on how to pick so, um, yeah, how to do your picking and strumming and rhythm. I cover s such a large array of, of information when it comes to um, stuff like that. You know, sometimes I won't use my pick. I'll use my... So, you know, I'll, I'll do something like that, but, um, my picking technique is pretty, pretty straightforward, but if you want more information on that, you can also find that, um, on the site or in the course. And guess what? A lot of the stuff is free. It's absolutely free. It's not where you're going to go in and you're going to get charged all this stuff. No, that stuff is free. Um, and until we get into real deep stuff, then that comes with the paid course um so but a lot of that stuff if you go to my if you go to my website and let's see if i need to and that's the website put in your email address and when the course is launched and everything happens um you'll be able to to go through that stuff and and go through the free stuff and then once you're done you move forward um Okay, yes, sir. This is Rudy. Hey, Rudy. 
Yeah, that, there you go, Rudy. This is Rudy from First Boot Camp, Group One. What's, man, you know what? It's good to see you, Mr. Rudy. <laughs> good to see you, man. Um, okay. If you can play on the church, you can play. Yep. You know what? If you can play in church, if you can play in church, and that's exactly right, um, you can play mostly anywhere. Uh, okay, we have another question. Why use the number system? Okay, Harold, one of the big things about the number system is back um, before pre-in years and pre all this modern technology that we had, we had band situations where the, the music director would actually call out different um, chords and different things to, um, to the band members. But because the music was loud or the drummer was on the other side and couldn't really see or couldn't really hear, I should say, he could see but he couldn't hear, um, they started what they called the number system. And that way they were able to communicate without actually calling out chords, okay? Because there is a basic theory to the number system. Um, what the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. And that's not absolute because depending on how the song is moving, the six, instead of being a minor, it could be a major chord depending on um, just like if you were doing blues, that's, that's the major, but it's the six, okay? So that's why they came up with the number system, and I thought it was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, that helps. Okay. Mr. Minchin, I know professional guitarists who have played with people like Tyrone Davis and R. Kelly. They won't touch quartet. They said it's up, it's up there with jazz. <laughs> it's not. I'll tell you something. Listen, I'm gonna put that back up there, because let me tell you something. That it is not that complicated. You know, triads, triads, big thing. How hard is triads? Three notes. You could take. And you could do so much with it. All triads. All triads. And there's nothing hard about it. Can it get complicated? Yes. Yes. Do they have contemporary artists who play put hits in every move and all of that stuff? Absolutely. But when you understand the number system and you understand how music is put together, you listen differently. You actually listen to music differently because you don't listen to just the hit. You listen to the form or how it's being played or the numbers, okay? Because even in scales, there are numbers that's being played. So if you listen to the numbers, listen for the numbers, and see how that's being moved. It will help you so much. Okay. It will actually help you. Okay. Say, how can somebody get better at hearing and figuring out a chord on a song? See? Exa that, that's my point right there. My point is, he asked, how can you hear a song? And figure out the what the chord is, because if it's a, a um, like an A major chord, what your A major chord has a one, three, and five. Okay, one, three, and five. The triad is one, three, and five. It's A, A, C sharp, and E. Okay. So if I hear that, if I hear that triad, or if I hear the minor. I hear the F sharp minor. I, I know that a note is flattened. So, because I know the triad is, right? And I hear that sound. That means that the third is flattened. 
goes in the triad, the minor, the third is flattened. Yeah, that is, you know, if diminished, they just have this sound. Like augmented. Somebody asked about augmented. What is augmented? All right, I'm going to let you guys answer this question. What is augmented? I'm going to go back to that question. I think someone asked about an augmented pattern. Uh, uh, right here. Here we go. Donald, is there an augmented scale pattern? Absolutely. What is an augmented? What is an augmented chord? How, what does that consist of? Somebody help me out. Okay. Somebody help me out. Hey, what's happening? One, three, sharp, five. There it is, right here. One, three, and sharp, five. Okay. So, if we take, and this is for Donald, if we take, right, and do the sharp, five, right? So, we have, that's, there it is. Right, and everybody's answered now. So, so we have these notes. Right? So we have those notes in the pattern. You can play a scale that's off of the notes. It's actually called whole tones. a pattern that you can play and there's a whole lot because i said whole tones a whole whole lot um of stuff that's right you answered there's a whole lot of stuff that you can play off of those patterns raise fifth that's right <laughs> look at this that's what i'm scared to say <laughs> yeah <laughs> so what is a diminished chord it sounds beautiful. Diminished chord is what? What is a diminished chord? What is a diminished chord? Yeah, what is a diminished chord? A diminished chord is a one, flat three, flat five. That's what a diminished chord consists of. But listen, let me tell you something. Um, for those who are asking these questions, these are some great questions. I absolutely love this. Um, uh, a lot of the stuff that you guys are asking... Either I'm covering it on my YouTube on Mondays. Yeah. Um, I'm covering it on Mondays. When I come on, I come, come on every Monday at 12. Every third. Okay. And I come on, uh, and you guys are, are knocking this out of the park. I'm catching it. See? Look at this. See? Rudy. Rudy's on it. Uh, you are welcome. You're welcome. You are so welcome. But, um, yeah, I'm on uh, Mondays. I'm on, I post on Thursdays. And um, you are so welcome to come to my, my site. My website is kevinwilsonguitar.com. And put your information in. I promise we don't do spam. I hate spam. I don't like spam. I, I'm disgusted by spam. So, we don't send out anything other than notifications of when I'm posting something so you guys can be on top of it. So, you know, what's great about all of this, um, Donald asked about the pattern and all you guys are helping out. Um, and I didn't even have to answer it, but I did the demonstration. But let me, I'm going to do this so you can see it again. Okay. So. So one. Raise five because this is the five going from E to F. So that. You could actually start 
note on the A. And that will work all day and all night long. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. So with the number system, so with the number system, you have to also understand um, our minors and majors. Yeah, you have to understand the minors and, yeah, it sounds dreamy, right? Um, you have to understand the minors and majors, okay? And it's very important that you do. And even, yeah. even not playing the number system, it's important to know majors and minors. And it's not deep. I promise it's not rocket science. I promise it's, it's not. But um, knowing this stuff is going to help when you start to open up and play different things. And then learning um, what's related. Learning who your cousins are and who your uncle is and your auntie and them. Knowing who those people are on your fretboard. Will uh, <laughs> will help you out quite a bit. Somebody, I knew. You know what? See, you know what? I knew William was gonna come on here. Um, yeah. Thanks, Gary. Um, I knew William Boyd Boyd was gonna come on here and ask for a quartet drive. <laughs> so I was ready for you. <laughs> I think I let me find another one. Um let me see. <laughs> uh what equipment do you use to learn song? Harold asks, what equipment? I'm not sure what you mean equipment. Um I use my ears mainly. Um, to learn songs um, because when I listen to songs I listen to songs kind of differently um, because I listen to the bass play a lot of times and then I listen to the keyboard player um, what's going on with them and if I go to YouTube there's a if there's a song um, uh, <laughs> um, if I go to YouTube and I listen to a song it's I may if it's something that's real complicated I'll slow the tempo down a little bit on it and figure out what the licks are but basically that's it yeah that's it Kansas City Missouri what's happening greetings glad to see you thank you for hanging out that drive I play in D <laughs> um man I can't even remember mm, excuse me I can't remember um, what drive that was, I did indeed. Um, but yeah. <laughs> hey, um, Eric. Um, every no, you know what? I just popped on this Friday. I just popped on. I had a few minutes. And I'm actually going to have to get off here in uh, 14 minutes. I'm going to have to get off because um, I have work to do. So today was a little different. I wanted to get on here and, and reach out to some of these people that may not be able to get on at noon. Um, so I just popped on for, for a quick moment. Um, said... 
can you show some jazz progressions to a song like praise the lord everybody <laughs> oh, wow uh jazz progressions <laughs> so much i'm glad that um you enjoy the videos listen um if you want more of the stuff i promise i i don't mind doing it but i need you guys to do me a favor um please like share subscribe and comment because what happens when you comment youtube um <laughs> youtube actually will post um stuff or recommend that I'm doing stuff and the more we have these recommendations the better we'll get the more time I'll have to do this stuff so please um, it really depends on on you guys how often I'm able to do this stuff and make it happen so absolutely I don't I don't mind doing it. I love doing this stuff I, I'm telling you I can be on here for hours and hours and hours just you know sharing with you guys but um, I have other other good stuff that I need to be doing <laughs> man so what we did we talked about playing gospel and how to approach gospel and and how to what we say break out of that pentatonic box without even having to leave out of the box by playing um, not the notes like so I want you to try that doing stuff like that or, you could do what play that that jazz stuff yes you can <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. What inspired you to quartet to play quartet guitar? What inspired me to play quartet guitar? Well, Don, uh, my father, who was a Kojic pastor, absolutely loved quartet. So he was my first introduction to quartet music. And then once I started listening to um people like Howard Carroll and different quartet musicians, I was like, man, man, this is rich. And just check it out. If you go through and you look at a lot of these artists now, most of the guys that they use are come from the quartet. Jubal Smith, who plays with Frankie Beverly, Eric Walls, um, Chris Payton, 
uh, um, man, there's just so many of these guys who just came out of Spanky Alfred. Um, all these guys came out of quartet um, to become amazing um, musicians in different genres. So, yeah, quartet was a no-brainer for me. I absolutely love it. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He called me a beast. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, any more questions? Anyone? Anyone? We have like 23 folks on here. Thank you for coming in. Even the ones who are hiding out and not saying much. Thank you for hanging out. Agape, that's exactly right. Agape Jerry is another one. He said, um, Agape, man, we can go through the list of of guitar players who absolutely came out of quartet. I mean, just killing it. Um, one of my good friends, Castro Coleman, who does blues, they call him Mr. Sip, is another amazing guy. He still plays with the Wayne Brothers when the Wayne Brothers go out, but he's a a blues guitarist who absolutely love quartet actually has a quartet group. I think his group is the true believers out of Mississippi. Um, so there are a lot of amazing quartet guitar players and there's a hunger for it. I'm telling you people from overseas everywhere, um, are, are really looking for this stuff. So, you know, I'm here to, to give it to you guys and, and share this information with you. And I appreciate all of you guys coming on. We got people still coming in. And I love it. Um, Y'all continue to follow me and like and share and all of this stuff. And when you have questions, send them to me. You know, all this stuff does is help us out um, with creating content for the course and, and doing our clips and all of that good stuff. So, yeah, absolutely. Let me see if I can find me another backing track. Let me see. Okay. Would you say Cortez is a simple drive? I would play one, four, five. Just one scale. Huh. Is it a simple drive? Would you say Cortez is a simple drive and just play on the one, four, five chord? You know what? You can play on the one, four, five, you can play on the one, you can you can go to Ken Folk's house. You can go to Ken Folk's house. And um <laughs> and hang out at Ken Folk's house because you know, they're related. So you don't have to just stick on the one or just play over the one four five. Find out who the relatives are and visit those relatives you don't have to stay on the relatives but you can visit the relatives and play over the relatives and i'm telling you it will open up that um yeah so i hope that answers your question please go to say oh thank you so much ah uh, thank you rudy i appreciate that rudy is a great guitar player he is a great 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 guitar player uh, good guy. Okay. I grew up playing in a funk band, now playing gospel music. So I'm loving your channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, nothing like, um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Still could play gospel and no, no less stuff.
It's there. And you know what? You can play that over quartet stuff. transcends transcends uh can you play the same chord in different voices to work in the drive each and every single day play the same chords we can play them every day e or d because we like d right all day every day all day every day you can do that hey jackie what's happening good to see you what's happening with you and for those who's going to catch this later Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Come to my website. There's a lot of great information. Mondays, um, I am on at 12 noon every Monday. And let me tell you this. Now, if I get a overwhelming response from you guys, if I get an overwhelming response um, from you guys, you can absolutely make me come on another day in the week Ooh, did i say that sonia's gonna get me but um yeah uh i will come on another day if this works better for you okay wow do you have a place where someone could do to donate to your ministry wow wow what amazing gesture wow man i hadn't even really thought about that but when you when you like, share, and and subscribe, um, that absolutely helps. But I do have a a cash app, so and I'm not promoting this, okay? Um, I'm not promoting this because what I do, I don't do for um, um for the money of it, no. But this is my cash app. If you want to be a blessing. Um, I don't even remember it. Here we go. That's my cash app. If you would like to do, um, make a donation and I appreciate the gesture. I really do. I promise you. Um, maybe I need to think about doing something like that. Um, but yeah, if you want to, to, to make some kind of donation, then you can send it to my cash app. I'm all choked up behind that one. <laughs> uh, one pro one two three four. I that, you know that's a that's. I appreciate it. I put it like that. I really appreciate it. Well, um, great folks. Uh, give me that. Can you actually see that you're enjoying her so much? Let me see. It. Oh man, man. So we can actually see that you're enjoying helping us and that makes people want to do those things. Oh, man, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You guys, I'm going to get off because y'all are making me all up in here, up in here. I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> Dude. But I love helping because I was helped. I was blessed by different people, so... Why not? This is a gift that keeps on giving. I just ask you guys to share this stuff too. Share it with young musicians because if they don't get this foundation, it's going to go away. So please, ma'am, please, sir, please, please, please take the time, learn it, get it under your fingers and share it with someone else. Share it with someone else. But, um, I, I appreciate, thank you so much. 
thank you so much. This that means so much to me, you guys, for real, for real. Uh, but it's now 802. It's 802. And I did my hour. I did my hour with you guys. And I'm gonna let you get back to your family, to your music, to your practicing. Don't forget my email address is is Kevin Wilson Guitar.com. Kevin Wilson Guitar dot com um you can reach me there um uh, mondays i am on at 12 noon thursdays there's always a clip that i post some tips and tricks um not really tricks but tips yeah <laughs> you are asking if i could do a little bit of been in the storm um yeah we go we're gonna miss the white i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna have to go <laughs> time with Dwight and learned a lot from Dwight when I was playing with the Mighty Clouds of Joy, but he will truly be m missed. Um, please keep his family in prayer, um, support them if they need your help, um, help them out. Um, but yeah, he will be missed. So ladies and gentlemen, it's 804, um, beautiful um, Friday evening. I'm going to jump off here. Okay. Um, uh, let me do this. I'll post it again. Mm. There you go. That is my cash app. Um, if you guys want to make a donation, I appreciate it. I thank you. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a it's been great thank you um thank you so much thank you please let's say cash app again it's a dollar sign ims 2018 is my cash app um guys so thank you so much i appreciate you taking the time to watch and and hang out with me um i can't wait to see you guys on uh, monday but for my boot campers, I will see you guys on tomorrow. Be ready. We got work. <laughs> we got work. We are going to have some fun. We are going to work on some stuff. And um, and we're going to grow. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really nice. Um, my course will be up shortly. Um, I'm thinking it'll be up maybe next week, early as next week, so absolutely i think yep paul did he just told me he played on that paul jackson did tell me he played on been on been in the storm um but yeah uh you're welcome brian good to see you man thank you everybody i'm telling you this has been great this has been great um don thank you for your questions and everybody's questions were great questions um and i don't i love it i love it I miss boot camp. Good to see you, Rudy. Good to see you, man. And thank you for hanging out. Um, please come back. Um, please come back uh, because you know uh, I'm gonna be here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be here. <laughs> so I am gonna sign off. Have a great weekend. Until next time. <laughs>